Hello boys and gals, it's me, Miss Zombie Lady, and I'm bringing you a Shangri-La Easter Egg step-by-step -step guide on how to get all seven perks or to grab the Focus Stone. And first of all, this is step one. Um, every time, well, almost every step, you have to do the Eclipse. So by doing that, you go to the spawn and you press that button we did earlier. There's four of them. And then this is um, how you do it. Well, basically, there are 12 stones, as you can see here. Um, I call this out the diamond. And the other person is actually going to be on the other side of the map and also going to go look at the stone. But the key here is that every time you look at the stone, um, don't step on it first unless he's on it so that you guys step on both at the same stone at the same time or else all of it will um whatchamacallit will reset so that was a diamond and this one i call the f i don't know they call it the t with the line um there's 12 of them um all over the map well you know the left and the right side i'm looking at one side and it's much easier to do with two people and this one we call the d um it's much easier to do with two people because um uh so that you know less foot or whatever <laughs> and this one is the three lines with a line or line with three lines and um so the other one is the the one who calls out the stone and as my partner here which is assassin 4027 is the one who's um uh who are, who's gonna be saying i'm on it and then then i jump on it it's communication here is really key um this one we call the female symbol and um basically uh what we do here is um um i'm gonna be explaining to you what the focus stone is the focus stone um w will get you all seven perks um per per person basically and this one here is the double helix dna symbol whatever you want to call it and and yeah so it this one is really a pretty long process well not really that long but you can start early on we do it within um when there's a crawler and we we kind of do it do this and take our time because we don't want to screw up <laughs> at first we're all frustrated because all of them were looking for the stone you know all four of us and then you know everyone someone just steps in the stone and whatnot so i suggest two people do the stone and then the other two do the uh other one do whatever <laughs> and the other one guards the zombie so that the the crawler doesn't um mess in the way so these are the last two stones and what's the last stone there it's the bowling ball i call it the bowling ball or like you know how you put the fingers in bowling ball shape like that yeah the three dots <laughs> and the next step um is going to be you know a, um uh slide down the water slide so again once again you press down that that button there and then three people are going to be down by the AK-74U room um, waiting on the pressure plate. Uh, what I mean by pressure plate is that's the one, as soon as you go down the slide, that is the one, the first kind of um, area that you can see. Um, I'll, I'll explain to you once I get there. So one person needs to go down the slide and all three just wait down there and then um you get the um uh, you get the the step sometimes the the reason you know that you did a step right is um the eclipse is going to be over it's going to be done um you see the eclipse you know it darkens takes you back in time and then after you know when you know it's done it's going to be daytime again so this is one of the this is one of the um steps well technically this is the second one <laughs> only the second step of the easter egg so there it go go down the slide Woo! and next you see all three should be on that pressure plate or pressure pressure pad i don't know why assassin calls it that but anyway there you go um step three step three is really um not really hard to do but 
you must have the baby maker gun or the shrink ray gun or the L blah 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 long name gun. <laughs> I didn't really want to butcher the name, but I can't remember the name. We just call it those those terms, you know. Don't you know, don't flame me for that. But anyway, you can uh you can shoot down an orb with a ray gun or with grenades, whatever matter uh whatever it doesn't matter. As soon as you shoot it down, you shrink it and you slide down a slide and you wait for the the orb that I call the orb or the crystal um, to go to that geyser and as soon as you go to guy to the geyser you see a really cool animation <laughs> it's really cartoony but it's really cool whoop there you go it goes down and that's it that's the third step the fourth step actually is a really hard one in my opinion, well, that is the hardest one. So it's uh, blowing up the tunnel with Napalm Zombie. The Napalm Zombie is the the really cool looking zombie. It's the one that has flame on it or with it. <laughs> You'll see you have an aura of orange uh, when you see it. So basically what we do is um, if we see a Napalm Zombie... We just don't kill it right away. It it's actually really good. The napalm zombie doesn't die really quickly, as soon as you're uh, as long as you're not near it. Because if you're near it, it will kamikaze and flop, and then blow up. <laughs> well, basically, uh, so what we do here is we just lure him down. Um, we didn't want him to go up a geyser or anything, so we want him to. We just lure him down. And then in this tunnel right here, you turn this um, knob uh, four times. So you hold square or a or, or whatever um, controller you have. And then you just let the napalm zombie in here. So um, when uh, the round is almost over, we just run, out, run around the map and we make crawlers. And we make sure of that and we keep the napalm zombie alive. I mean, you can do it the the harder way where you have to do it during game you know <laughs> but it's really really hard especially coordinating it with four people and then next you have to lure him in here because um, you have to know that he has blown up or you know um, what do you call that saw the gas leak um, up to the last side I'll show you in a bit I think um, Assassin will show me. Yeah, there you go. On the on that side there, if you see it um, going off, like I mean, you know, being on fire, you just go to the the tunnel again, right? You know, you know where I I um, turn the knob. You go back there again, which I'm doing right now, and then you pull that lever beside it. So they have to make sure that the last the last side of the you know the pipes are are um are on fire well not on fire um you know having a gas leak <laughs> and so as as you go here you see that you just pull the lever and then they just told me you know hey, oh, hey you know um it's ready so there you go you just you just pull it again and then that's it that's the end of the the east, uh, not the Easter egg. The the step S sounds easy, but it's really um, quite difficult to do, um, especially when you go in higher rounds. So you might as well do it earlier on. So the next step would be um, putting spike mores, uh, plugging spike mores, um, the holes. So you can see here the the holes are already plugged in. You know because this is an <laughs> this is actually another game that. We have um, with different people. I you just I just used this footage because the other game that we have didn't have this one, and this is where we were all going for all, all four focus stones. So basically, you just put down spike mores there in all the holes, and then after uh, the napalm zombie comes and then blows up all the holes and and plugs them in, and all you need to do is press a button. Um, on the actual waterfall side 
and then that that would be it it's um we do this in a way that there is a crawler you know you can actually do it um during in game if you know if you're camping somewhere like what we usually do before um assassin <laughs> when we're camping some uh somewhere and then what's the best guns or whatever will lure a group of zombies to blow up the spike marks that's also another good thing to do but when you have um when you want to be sure you know do it in a in a way or in a round that there's crawlers you know you're not um in a hurry but what what we use or who we used is actually the napalm zombie so basically um what we did to get all four focus stone yeah and and sorry before you do that you must turn on the um the eclipse again <laughs> yeah so what we did is we put down the spike morse first and then uh, the other person could guard the crawler so that the crawler won't uh, blow up the spike morse because we need the crawler so what we do is we actually lure the napalm zombie towards the claymore or no spike morse sorry and then we lure the the napalm zombie towards the spike morse and then actually if you do that you know four times if you have enough spike mores, if you all you have the the baby the baby gun already, and you have what else do you need? An upgraded baby maker gun. You'll set you're set to go. You can just do this, you know, um, over and over again. This is uh this clip I actually have was when we <laughs> when we were all going for high rounds, and we we were all going for high rounds with the use of all. The focus stones i think i am the last person to have it <laughs> in this um in this clip but anyway so you just lure the zombie in you know we took the long way <laughs> i'm playing there with my friend medina so you lure the zombie in the tunnel the one with the spike morse and then that should um that should be it for the the step no actually after that, I'll show you where to go next, and um, there's uh, another step before bef before these uh, this Easter egg is done. So there you go. Do do do. It's a slow process, you know. You gotta be patient because you don't want to screw up or you don't want to have all your hard work go in vain. So you really have to go, you know, slowly. And the napalm zombie walks so slow. <laughs> But, you know, he looks so cool, doesn't he? Um, this is where the area I'm talking about, the water, the waterfall, this is where the button set, you, so, you saw that? That square button that do not press. Um, that is the button you need to press when the holes are plugged. And, uh, did you s and as you saw earlier, the holes were already plugged because um, it, we already done it. But w as soon as the eclipse, uh, blah, as soon as the eclipse start, the holes are unplugged so all you need to do is lure the napalm zombie here see then it um and it sets off the spike morse and you just want to gotta make sure that the spike morse are really um in line because we did that uh we did that one time and one of the spike morse didn't go and then we had to do it over again because the eclipse had run out so we're kind of like in a hurry here <laughs> Because of the fact that the eclipse, you know, um, also has a time limit. So you, you can't do this at your own pace. So what we need to do here, um, what me and Me Medina were doing is actually um juking the the napalm zombie and going through the shortcut because we were running out of time. So we were gonna go to the the waterfall, but here I'm stupid. <laughs> I went over there and I killed the napalm zombie. Lucky enough that I was the last person to have uh, to need the focus stone, so that didn't really um, screw us over. But just be careful. And there, I think he pressed it first. So there you go. That's it. That's the step that you need to do for this um, for this step. And the next step is going to be. Um, step six, knife twelve hieroglyphs. Uh, so the hieroglyphs um, actually look like the ones in the stepping stone. They're all over the map. So 
first one here and second one the dot three dots and I think there's four in the spawn third one is the crescent or the moon which I call it like that's not the moon it's the crescent or <laughs> and fourth one is that looks like a fish double helix and there's also 12 all over the map and there you go <clears throat> sorry I just needed to clear my throat <laughs> look at them <laughs> <laughs> they're stuck uh, but anyway um, uh, I'd like to thank um, of all, um, all people who've who've helped me made this possible I didn't uh, look at me here cause I didn't move because I didn't know where to go this was my first time doing everything <laughs> next one is that the pokeball which I call um, I didn't know where to go so that assassin here is babysitting me all the way <laughs> And because, you know, I'm such a noob and I, I really don't like doing Easter eggs. But I think this is the only map which the Easter eggs are actually, you know, worth it. Worth to do. It's freaking 10 steps or whatever. But it's actually really worth it. So this is the only <laughs> Easter egg that I'm actually learning how to do step by step. You know, um, I think I was turned off with the Ascension one. Because I, th me and my friends worked on the Ascension Easter egg for hours, because we thought that the Easter egg were more than the death machines. You know, now I'm actually convinced. No, I think there's nothing more to that. You know, my friend Red Austin Twenty Seven, um, another good director, <laughs> is obsessed with Easter eggs. So, so after that, I was turned off with Easter egg because it was really, really a uh, really long and painful process. But this one actually, I had really fun doing, um, especially when you're doing with your friends. And um, I'd like to thank all my friends who I call and you know, and there's another here hidden in the bushes. Um, sorry. After that, you have to throw a grenade, or I think you can shoot it with your ray gun, but just throw that snare trap as they say and then there you go um, your character will say something you know and that's it you got it and the next step is actually going to be um, to do, do what is it oh the sand room dials sorry <laughs> so the sand room dials um, you have to you have to turn them um, in a way so this one I think is four so four for the four dots um, and the next one is going to be three so you just press and hold square till you hit the right one. Oh, I hate this I hate when every time someone activates the maze it just bugs me especially when you're in a hurry and then the you know and you're running out of time and the sprinter runs after you in the sand uh, in the sand quicksand uh, it bugs me and the last one the 16 I don't know if that's 16 but that's it they say that's a, a 16 um, symbol and then the next one is one and then there you go you got that and that's one of the easier steps I tell you after the napalm zombie step um, all of them will be just a breeze you just have crawlers and then you just do it over and over again so the next step would be knifing the gongs um, so you'll know which gong will be correct if they make that long sound and then that, um, they make that, that weird sound and then you hear it sustaining. Um, a wrong gong would be just like, and then that's it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, um, making up sounds, but, but, you know. Here we already know which one. It changes every time, so you just had need to check which ones are correct before you do the eclipse. And then after after that, you just knife them. Um, luckily, this one, um, the gongs are not too far from each other. There's a lot of gongs in the entire map, but those are the four. Oh, see that? I hate it. <laughs> I hate it when when um that happens. So after th after that um. There will be an orb that comes out from this, uh, um, so this one, you need to catch the dynamite, so there you go, that was the correct spot, 
I know which one is the correct spot because it's like in between those puddle. And then you have to shoot it with the with the shrink ray gun that's upgraded. And then that's the only way that you can sh um, shoot that glowing crystal. And then after that, if you got the the dynamite, just open up the pack-a-punch room, which is going to be stepping on all four plates um, located in the map. One's in spawn, one is in tunnel, one is in the waterfall, and the other one is... Which one is the other one? Spawn Power room. There you go. And as soon as that open, um, you, you can do this within one step, like like what we did. So you just, you know, there's going to be a conversation. It's cool to listen to. Um, you'll kind of get to understand the theories of zombies, but I really don't know in the theory that much. But if you want to know the theory, um, if you go to my friend's um, uh, YouTube channel page, he has a lot of zombie theories and he can explain you any zombie theory, I think possible <laughs> or even you know i think um fan fic fiction stories about zombies i don't know but anyway after you do that you just wait um till the bl uh the water blows off uh we were trying to have fun because a lot of people said that you can glitch up here and you know if you prone so we were like trying <laughs> i don't know i don't want to glitch but I'm just trying, having fun, and then just going down. Woo, there you go. And you got that step. And after that, you know, as painful as it is, you know, um, we've reached the final step. And we've all done that under um, under 10 rounds. So you get the focus stone. Yay! Focus stone actually looks like this. It looks really cool. It's like this this um, meteor meteorite or whatever I don't know why they call it focus but so I was just waiting for my friends to see it because some of them um, didn't haven't seen it yet so I'm waiting for my friends cleric and Yari you know who I need to thank and especially assassin I really um, give thanks to assassin for helping me in all of my my Shangri-La or zombie vids um, there you go so I got all all seven perks so basically what that means is that even if you're down, um, you will still have those perks. So that which is cool. And if you die and you spawn in the next round, you will still have all perks. So I think this is the Easter egg that's worth it to do. There you go. And you slide down and there you go. All seven perks. Um, Juggernaut, Quick Revive, Speed Cola, Double Tap, Stamina Up. Uh, HD flopper and Deadshot Daiquiri. So if you want to do it over again, like the Easter egg, you can actually knife the the radios in the um um sorry in the map. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna show you the location of the radios. And if you do that, because after you do e each um each focus stone, um the the button to there you go. I went down, but I, I I'll still have all my perks. <laughs> so the button for the for the um, for the sorry the eclipse are gonna be glitched in if you don't knife the or if you do the actual what should I call it the actual Easter egg. Sorry guys, I was zoning out there for a bit. So as soon as you you know you did what you want, like what I did here, um, we're just actually going kamikaze <laughs> we aren't actually going for higher rounds here but if you want you can actually rinse and repeat um what we did our our strategy was keep the napalm zombie alive and if you have that napalm zombie alive you can do this step over and over again so i'd like to thank um 224 night for or like um for the actual idea of all my strategies were an assassin for this map and I also I'd also like to thank um, Medina for live live stream people this is where we got the idea especially keeping the napalm zombie alive sorry I, I really can't remember who who said it but um, that is where we got our idea 
So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And if you have any more questions or concerns or, you know, or stories, you know, put put it down in the comment box. Uh, I'd like to hear. And there you go. Baby napalm zombie. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. And bye. Mwah. Shangri-La Easter eggs. Yay.